This conference will now be recorded. So till now, what are the things we had covered, right? So if I will highlight the things which we had covered is we had successfully installed we had successfully installed OUD, right? OUD, the version which we installed was 11.1.2.3. Okay. After inst or uh, 11.1. Yes, this is the only version, right? Okay. Apart from the OUD installation, what are the things we had performed was in the previous session? We install OUD, then we how many uh, ways we can create OUD? Means what are the modes OUD work? The first question means very important question for interview even. In how many modes OUD will work? Today's session is very important. Only so with one. the design con with the design console, we can work with that. Uh, no, no. Like, uh, how many mode I can configure the OUD after installation? What are the modes? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I told you like, guys. Uh, yes. Three, side, three side. modes. Yes. What are the three modes? OUDS application yeah directory, directory server, server replication then over. replication gateway and yeah. proxy server right so yeah. here yeah. here in this setup we configured OUDS which server directory server right so yeah. this one thing you have to keep in mind okay that's fine so this thing we had covered apart from this we also seen how to enabled ODSM console. So what is ODSM? ODSM console, if you want to enable, what do you think? Do you need a separate web logic or like you don't need web logic to run ODSM? Means do you need web logic for run ODSM or it can be run independently, this ODSM archive file? We need web logic for this. We need web logic, separate, right? So yeah. Separate web logic or even if the design uh, architect is so smart enough to he can configure the things there itself in the same web logic he can do but mostly people don't do it because oracle products already like give lots of uh, bugs are there right so nobody wants uh, additional trouble okay so next question i am just revising few things before starting yeah, yeah. Uh, web, web logic right uh, sorry um, oud right what is the LDAP listener port or the end user listener port on which the end user connect to the OUD. Oh, 3060. 1389. Okay. And what is the admin port of OUD? Double, double four, double four. Double four, double four. Okay. So my one question, okay, what is the SSL port of OUD only? We had configured in a checkbox. 1636, right? Yeah, 13. Yes. So yes. the ports, at least we guys will remember because uh, while they will ask, we will be in a position to we will answer these things. Okay. So these things we also had been covered till now. Apart from this, uh, uh, OUD installation uh, we had done, we configured it, this OUD. So how to start OUD? What is the script to start and stop OUD? Uh, slash uh, ansit start ds start and stop yes yeah yeah stop, stop DS, right? you were asking yeah. yes and in which folder you will find this in which folder a special folder is there where we will find this yeah that's what ansit something we as inst yeah one right so yeah. these are the few things means uh, we don't need to like uh, remember everything nobody can but few things these are the things we should remember at uh, while the time of interview when we were sitting it so they if they will ask some question we will be in a position to start the thing okay so these things had been done apart from this when the oud to uh, oud installation has been performed uh, uh, i did few other things also right when oud installation has been performed uh, first thing i want to provision some user to oud i want to provision some user to the oud in oim side what is the first minimal thing that user should have in the console so that i the user can provision himself to the oud what is the name of that thing so uh, connectors 
uh, let uh, means after connector uh, connector installation when uh, OUD to OIM connector installation has been done configuration has been done so that moment of time what is the thing which user request if he want to provision himself to the OUD what is the thing which user requests in OIM side to provision himself in OUD mm -hmm. uh, root, a uh, let's say real I'm, no no I'm asking a question again in different way let's say I'm an end user I want to add myself in a OUD account Okay, I want an OUD account for me. What are the steps which I will perform in console? Let's say sysadmin console or uh, identity console. How I will get OUD access? I will add myself in application instance of OUD right yes yes that's a okay. application instance okay anyway let me come to the next question very very important question OIM the interviewer will ask you like this you had installed OUD that's fine how you connected what are the general steps you had followed to integrate oim to oud in place of oud it could be ad ovd oid doesn't matter steps are going to be same always if you did integration for one it's you can easily answer the things so my question is how to integrate oim with oud oud is installed oim is installed how to integrate what are the general steps we do what is the first step What is the first step? My question is very, very simple. I have OIM. So, sand. Uh, okay. And let's say I have OUD installed, right? Directory server, everything I had created. How I will proceed here? How I will connect my OIM to OUD? That's the very quick. first question. Like they will ask you, how you integrated OIM to OUD? What are the steps you followed? That's that's the way they ask actually. First step creating a sandbox creating a sandbox uh, first we install the connector right yes yes install the connector okay kalpana you tell me we install the connector then what are the things we do after connector installation has been done uh -huh. uh, we'll uh create the it resource yes we configure yeah. it resource right we configure yes. it resource all those things okay and then mm -hmm. when it resource has been configured means my oim nowhere is the oud very very simple yeah. now my oid yeah. see this is the connector let's say mm -hmm. so this connector don't know anything okay it's innocent connector don't know anything okay we have to tell our innocent connector let's say my innocent connector is uh, pointing in some different direction like this so we have to tell him okay don't point there point to this direction point to this object so this we do only with the help of it resource configuration now it resource has been configured now what are the steps we do now our ym know where is the oud now what is the next step we do we create sandbox and after creating the sandbox what are the things we perform now we i made create the thing we create first form look yeah form form, okay. form, yes. form right yeah. like for which is this target what kind of data need to be filled form. next mm. step what is the second step after form create application instance application instance. Instance. Yes. yes now step three attach form to application instance right instance. so the user yeah. will request this application instance automatically get the form right now yeah. last step when all the things are done what is the last step Mark, mapping lookups uh okay. lookups we don't map anything right we don't map first name with the given no. name uh, till now right mapping here we don't perform by ourselves 
till now what we do when all these things are done at last very very last Pub publish uh, before publish uh, okay uh, we, before uh, we publish the sandbox okay then at very last we run scheduler right we publish the sandbox also yeah right yes. so these are some <clears throat> schedulers which are required to fetch the data from oud side to this so tell me the very first thing what is the first thing which we fetch from the side what is the first thing which we fetch from their side on the lookup what are the things we fetch we run the scheduler right scheduler will fetch some uh, something from oud side to ym side right that's their duty so what are the things yes. which we fetch what do you say lookup dot oud dot reconciliation means actually what that lookup will have what is we fetching i mean general very very uh, general question means oud what thing we fetch via re running scheduler here in oim side what is that called we fetch one lookup like definitely a, uh, we fetch one lookup only but what this lookup is having the very first scheduler what we run while we add the user to the oud instance there is one thing which was missing that time when i was adding catalog. the user uh, yeah, catalog I, okay we run catalog sync then catalog that, that's good point catalog uh, in the use that uh, oud instance will come immediately to the catalog right that's good point yeah. second thing i added the user to the oim uh, oud instance and i proceed towards the form process form filling the form that time one thing was missing yeah. in that process what was that thing while filling the form very first time one thing was missing then i run one scheduler yeah. what was the thing missing that time let's say that time it was not missing something like this ou equal to people dc equal to example tc equal to com you remember there is yes. ous are missing right in ym side that time very first time when we try to fill the form right this yeah. data is not coming yes, yes. so we run one scheduler to take it to the oim process form right now what is that scheduler we run very simple this is ou how to take ou from oud to oim what scheduler you will run any guess synchronization no no ldap ldap ou recon right yeah recon look up yes, recon yes, yes. right so why i am saying these things because these things will help you means uh, means this uh, concept will help you to uh, debug the other product means other uh, directory product or any target system right so this is how we bring the things over there now my very important question with you people is uh, like let's say uh, i did some changes in ou decide and i want to replicate the same changes to oim let's say i change the first name here last name here email id here okay even i revoke the account here directly so what is the uh, scheduler i will run so that the same changes of oud whatever it is will replicate to oim what is the scheduler name means what is the scheduler ldap user search recon remember Okay. Yes, yes. So, please draw this. Uh, uh, means whenever you watching the video, just pause in this position and just draw this small thing. So it may help you in the like long run, sometime debugging the issue. So this is how we had did few things.